will house seeds from all the world's main food crops. The aim is to protect them from climate change and natural disasters. Sky's Catherine Jacob reports. Huddled on the side of a frozen Arctic mountain, the men and women who've built what's being called the world's doomsday vault herald its imminent opening. Surrounded by miles and miles of icy wilderness, the Svalbard Global Seed Vault has been built to withstand nearly every catastrophe. Its precious contents, millions of seeds which could prove indispensable to our survival. The, the vault is secure against uh, flooding. We're well above sea level if the uh, ice on the poles should melt. It's uh, safe against uh, earthquakes. Uh, we're 130 meters inside the mountain, so we should be very safe uh, against nuclear warfare and uh, even asteroids. More than a million seeds of nearly every crop variety from nearly every country in the world will soon be stored on these shelves. The permafrost transforms the mountain into a giant freezer, but the vault has also been cooled to a further minus 18 degrees Celsius, which could keep the seeds pristine for thousands of years. Of course, this isn't the world's only seed bank. There are more than a thousand others in different countries. The problem is, so many are vulnerable. The collections in Iraq and Afghanistan, for example, were destroyed in their respective wars, while poorer countries like Malawi stored their collections in an ordinary household freezer, vulnerable to electricity and funding cuts. This is a backup for the world. For a month now, the seeds have been arriving here in Svalbard. While the vault is the property of the Norwegian government, the seeds belong to the country who supplied them. The samples are being stored in these aluminium envelopes. Each holds around 500 seeds. The project is the vision of Professor Kerry Fowler. He's devoted his whole life to protecting the world's biodiversity. If we can't somehow, as, as countries in the world, learn to cooperate and conserve the crop diversity that's a legacy of the last 10,000 years and which we need so much for the future, if we can't get it together to conserve that material and to make it available for plant breeders in the future, then we're really, in a way, doomed ourselves and we create our own doomsday. With the world's population set to soar and climate change and water shortages threatening global agriculture, Svalbard's seed vaults may well play a vital role in guarding Earth's food supply in the decades to come. Catherine Jacobs, Sky News, Svalbard.